All right. Hey guys. Um, I finally got to, I'm finally getting to stream some Splatfest. I was going to stream like yesterday, but I don't know. I didn't, I didn't know like how I would feel energy wise because this week has been, um, crazy and I needed lots of time to recharge. So, so here is an awesome Splatfest theme. It's the apocalypse. Um, I'm on team bucket list because I feel like that's the best um, team to join. I mean, like, it for me, it was between Team Samo and Team um, Bucket List because, like, I feel like at that point, like, the world is beyond saving at that point. So, yeah. Really hoping that Fry gets a win this time, but I'm not getting my hopes up. I have to walk back here because I like how um, the back streets are a lot more lively during Splatfest. See, look, there's lots of cooking going on. And a little jelly eating a dumpling. That's cute. Like, everything's always, um, a lot more lively during a fest. Alright, um... So I'm gonna get, I'm gonna play some tricolor battles because I think, um, tricolor on Robo Ramen is a lot of fun. I played some last night. So let's go ahead and go. So I hope everybody's been having a good weekend. Um, like I've just been mostly playing Splatfest and I'm re -watch I've been re-watching The Walking Dead. I'm actually on season four right now and it's like right after the part um, where the governor kills Herschel. Not very happy about that part, to be honest, but yeah, like there's a lot of brutal scenes in The Walking Dead. Um, anyway, I think for this, I'm like, I played Custom GooTuber yesterday when I was playing Splatfest, and it was a lot of fun, so I might start out with Custom GooTuber. And also, look how it matches my outfit. Like,. I don't know, the blue colors and the purple, like, they, they just all go well together, so, um, and I know I said, like, I was trying to grind up V-Jet because I want, um, I really want to get five stars on my V-Jet, but... Like, I, I gotta play some other weapons, too. I haven't played, uh, this was one of the new weapons that came out in, like, seasons past that I didn't really, um, get to play much because, like, I've always had some other weapon to play. Plus, at the time, I was, um, grinding for five stars on my, um, um, Uh, my Tri-Stringer. Speaking of Tri-Stringer, I'm really excited about the new bow that's coming out. Like, I'm excited about Sword too. Um, I don't play Sword as much as I play Bow. 
Probably I need to play some Splatanas. <laughs> More often. Okay, this is a lot harder to aim than just doing it on handheld. I'm gonna try my best though. Might have to switch to a different weapon, but that's okay. Like right now, I'm just having fun. But yeah, like, the new bow that's coming out is just, it looks really good. I've been calling it the Lionel bow because it's a five-shot bow as opposed to, um, the regular three. Ah, shoot. Like, I'm telling you, my aim's really messed up when I play this on my computer monitor. Like, I'm telling- like, this weapon did a lot better, um, like when I was playing it yesterday. Like, I, I'm telling you, like, I would have got that shot if I had been playing it handheld. Like, I know that just sounds like an excuse, but it's true, though. Like, the main part is inking turf here, or shoot. I didn't see them. But yeah, inking turf is important. It looks like the green team has an advantage. Okay, I got a shot there. But like, this is a fun map to do. Um tricolor battles on like it's a it's a lot of chaos because like they can come at you from like all different angles and alternatively you can come at them at different angles and I've just been having a lot of fun with it But yeah, um, talking more about the new sizzle season that's coming out, um, like I definitely want to try out, um, the new bow for sure. Like I'm not sure exactly how the weapon's going to play out, um, like considering there's five arrows, they're spaced a bit further apart and just the fact that there's also going to be a sl I think they s they said it was going to be a slower charge to which makes sense I guess but um like I'm just I, I was honestly surprised because I just thought that they were done making new weapons but um, the fact that we get, like, a whole another type of bow, like, that's some, like, I have another option besides just, um, you know, the regular tri-stringer and the reflux. Now, as for the kits, I'm not sure how, how I feel about Ultra Stamp on it. Um, I do admit, like, I've been, pro I've been, 
one of the reasons I've been playing um, custom GooTubers because I get a little bit of stamp practice with it, but um, I like the I like the custom um, Lionel Bow kits. We oh shoot, it's a DC. I liked the um, I like the custom Lionel Boat kit because it has Wave Breaker, which is really good. So, I don't know. I might play that kit more. I, I really don't know yet, though, because, I, like I said, I gotta try the weapons out. Now, as for the Mint Sword, um... Like, at first I wasn't sure how it worked, but then I seen, you know, it just had one long horizontal strike. Now, that's interesting, um, because it works differently than the other swords. But I don't really have a strong opinion about that one, because I don't, like, I honestly don't play swords enough to really know, like, what I like and what I dislike. I think my favorite sword in the game so far is um, Chainsaw because of the fact that it's a chainsaw. I mean, duh. And I like Burst Bomb. Zipcast is a little tricky, but you just, like, that's one of the ones where you just have to learn. You know, how to use it. Okay, just trying to warm up here. Still feels a little bit wonky. There we go. One thing I like about GooTubers is that you can just kill with a partial. And like, you don't have to, you just, you don't really have to spend too much time doing a full charge because you can just, you know, kill like that, like, like that. Well, not like that. That wasn't quite enough, but almost. But it's super easy. So, so far, um, oh, I just realized this is a mirror match, isn't it? Oh my gosh, another DC. Like, really? I think I'm going to leave this lobby and join a different one. Alright, welcome... Um, I don't know how to say your name, but welcome to you. I'm just playing some Splatfest Barazu. I think I said it right. I don't know. Um, I'm doing pretty good. I'm just a little tired because I had a long week and... Um, so yeah, I'm probably not going to be as talkative as usual, but I wanted to stream a little bit because, like, it's Splatfest, you know? And also, I wanted to talk a bit about the new weapons that's coming out, because I am excited about the new weapons. Like, I still can't believe we're getting a new bow. I'm really excited about that. Um, I'll probably play the new sword some too because I mean swords can be fun it's just not a weapon that I play very much but I hope that you're having a good weekend and um, everything
Like right now, I am just um, chilling. Okay, so now we're on the attacking team. This is going to be interesting. Oh boy. Some okay, they're right there, but okay, my teammate got him, I guess. Here, time to do a sneak attack. <laughs> oh gosh, um, yeah, that didn't go so well. Oh, are you playing on Team Bucket List too? Oh, you mean like it's interesting because we're both back ones? Yeah, like Team, um, uh, same old. Like they got, they definitely have the advantage here, I would say. Oh, so you are on Team Bucket List? Yeah, Team Bucket List is, like I've, I had to choose it because, um, oh gosh, now's our chance, but like I'm nowhere near where I'm supposed to be. I'm going to have to like jump back, but yeah, I joined Team Bucket List, um, because first of all, like, um, like, for me, it was a choice between Bucket List and Team Same Old because I would say at the end of the world, there's really no point in trying to save it at that point. Um, I need to use more fizzy bombs here. Okay, I'm definitely going to have to change weapons. I still can't get used to the aim, like, on my computer monitor. I'm, I'm so used to playing handheld. Okay, there. I finally got somebody. No. So, yeah, I'm going to change weapons just for stream. I'm a little sad because I really wanted to um, show off some custom GooTuber action, but... That's the same for me too, like, I mean, honestly, normally I would just go with my same old routine, but, um, having a bucket list is nice in general. Okay, I don't really know which weapon I want to go with here because I just feel like, like, Jet Squelcher... I really want to grind that up to five stars, but I don't know how well that 
would play on this map. I'm tempted to just go with the reflux because it inks so well. Or I could try the Dowser Doilies. I haven't played them as much as I would like. Oh, and speaking of Dowser Doilies, they're getting a new kit next season, too. I can't remember what kit they said um, this was going to get. Let's see, Dynamo. Um, I haven't really played much Dynamo, honestly. Like, I think I, I really like Dynamo in Splatoon 1. Like, the tempered Dynamo roller. That was fun. And I played a little bit of Dynamo in Splatoon 2, but... Um, like... The, the weapons I played the most were definitely bow weapons. Like, see, I got this one to five stars. Um, and, like, the other kit I got to four. Like, Inkline Tri-Stringer's pretty nice. I'm honestly thinking about just going with Jet. So V-Jet is like the weapon that I mained in Splatoon 2. Um, I would say I, pl I still play it a lot in Splatoon 3. But um, like I actually stuck with Stringer just because it's, it's just a lot more fun and more interesting than just a regular shooter weapon. Um, like Reflux... I mostly just play in turf war. I might play a little bit of V-Jet right now, and then I might um, play some Reflux. <sighs> just to change it up a little bit. So, yeah, I'm actually a lot more tired than I thought I was going to be. Like, I thought, um... I thought I would be like a little bit more alert right now. Maybe I should go drink some caffeine. Like I feel like that'll get me pepped up a bit. Like I guess I'm like I'm one of those people I'm not really a morning person but I'm not a night owl either. Oh yeah, I do, I do, um, I play Splatoon and I do art, um, so my art Instagram is, um, I think it's jcpanda92, pretty sure. Oh, thank you. I really appreciate that. Um, but yeah, like, um, I... I like to draw a lot of Splatoon characters and other video game characters. That's what I draw the most, but like I'm also trying to work on a comic book and well, I haven't like I barely started on that, but um, you know, I've got my main characters and like the story kind of set up how I want it. I just need to basically write out the script and draw it, you know? But anyway, like, I've just been a lot of stress because, um, oh, I'm on the attacking team. Oh, boy. But yeah, I've just been under a lot of stress because, um, like, I'm a substitute teacher and, like, teaching is a tough, um, job. Honestly. Okay. 
Okay, where are they at? Got them. Okay, I'm a lot better aiming with this weapon, probably because I've played it so much. Oh shoot, I ran out of ink. Yeah, like it's just tough, um, especially at the end of the year because there's just a lot of stuff going on. Um, this week, like I subbed for this class. Oh shoot, they were a bit too quick for me. Um, so I subbed for this class like for three days last week and like all the kids were getting sick. Um, and like it was, it really sucked because like, um, well it started out there was one kid that had a really bad cough, okay, so I sent him home because like he was just, he wouldn't stop coughing, it was bad. I probably should have used ink back in there. Um, but yeah, like, he had a really bad cough, and then there was another student who threw up in the classroom, so I had to send him home. And then the next day, there were like two more students who were absent, in addition to the ones, you know, that were um, already... Absent. Oh my goodness, that is exactly. Yes! Yes! Okay, this is fun. I don't think we're going to win though, but we can try. <laughs> that was, that was a really good one. But yeah, students were getting sick, and then on Friday I subbed for a band class, and like, in general, band class was just, um, yay, we win! Um, I don't even, yeah, that was a mirror match, wasn't it? Like, I just, I got confused because our ink color was green, but it's supposed to be blue. Okay, very... So yeah, that match didn't even count, but oh well. Um, but yeah, like I subbed for a band class on Friday and like band, I don't know, it could just really deplete your energy. Um, I'm going to take a break real quick, um, but it can deplete your energy just because you know, like you have to deal with a lot of loud sounds and music going on. It was like they played pretty well, I think. It was just very loud and it did get chaotic because there were students who kept um, coming and going to different stuff. Like they were having a car wash. Which was weird because it was raining that day anyway, so bad day to do a car wash. But anyway, they um, they were having a car wash, so a lot of students were out for that. And then there was other stuff going on. I think sports physicals and other stuff that they needed to do because they have to get ready for next year. Um, okay, so I'm taking a break real quick. I will BRB. I have to go get my caffeine so that I can wake up.
All right, I'm back. I got my Diet Coke. Um, so I don't know if I asked yet or not, but what are you looking forward to most about the new um, sizzle season? Like, I've been talking about this for like the past... Gosh, it's already been half an hour since I started streaming. Um, oh, so new Tetras. Like, are they... Wait a minute, is Tetris getting a new kit? I thought... Hold on. Like, I think Tetris got... Hmm. I don't know, I've never played, um... Let's see, so there's dark Tetra Doys, but wasn't there light Tetra Doys too? Okay, yeah, they're... Yeah, they already got a new kit. Oh, so you're hoping that they'll come out with a third kit? Um, honestly, like, I wish, I wish that they would come out with third kits, but I honestly don't know what they're going to do. Um, like, considering how Splatoon 2 and Splatoon 1 went, like, they, they came out with the Sheldon's Picks weapons, like, I don't... I don't know, was it like two years after the game came out? Maybe? Like they, ca like, they kind of came up with an update out of nowhere. So, we might not get anything new right away, but I feel like maybe later they might add something. But who knows? I mean, we really don't know because in Splatoon 3, like, they came out with all these new weapon classes and like there's just a lot more in this game than there was in Splatoon 2. So we can only hope that they'll come out with a third kit but I like I'm not comfortable saying for sure whether they would or not. But I really hope they do. Okay, so I pretty much just have to um, keep people from getting in the middle. Okay, that was that was pretty stupid. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I'm looking forward to the new bow that's coming out the most, because um, I mostly play bows. I really wish there would be like a third jet swelter um, kit, but I really doubt they would do that since there was not a third. Um, there's not a third Jet Squelcher kit in the other games. But that would be so cool if they did. And I also wish that they would have, like, I don't know, custom collars. But, I f like, I feel like that would be too chaotic if they let you um, do what collars you want. Like for the weapons because I want a pink jet swelter. That's what I want. Yeah, like, I really want a pink or a purple jet swelter, but like, I know it's never going to happen. I love these fizz bangs. They're just a lot of fun. I 
Okay, I'm just trying to eat turf now. Okay, this is bad because, like, half of our team got demolished at the end. Yeah, the reason, like, I, I watched some videos, people, you know, breaking down the Sizzle season trailer and talking about, you know, all the stuff, like, all the takeaways that they got from it, and somebody pointed out that, you know, they'll likely have an update, like, another update in the future, even if, like, even if this is the last season, um, like, they have to have an update, you know, to put all the Splatfest playability and... Oh, crap. I didn't click the button in time. Um, but, yeah, you know, like, they have to have Splatfest playability for, um, private battles. You know, just like they do in Splatoon 2. So, they'll have to add that at some point. Um, probably wait until all of the Splatfests are over, I would say. That would make the most sense. And since this is an apocalypse theme, um, like, I'm just putting this question out there. Like, what's your favorite, like, apocalypse show, movie, um, or game? Like, I think, um, like, I really, I've been re-watching The Walking Dead recently, and, um, I've actually been reading the comics, too. Oh, you don't know? Well... Honestly, apocal like the apocalypse stuff, it's not for everybody. I mean, everybody's got different tastes, so. But yeah, I really like apocalypse stuff. So I like to watch The Walking Dead. I also watched, um, oh crap. <laughs> Um, I've, I've seen the first season of The Last of Us, and I thought it was just, um, really good. Pretty much just switched places with that dude. But yeah, The Last of Us was really good. I'm looking forward to the season two of The Last of Us. Oh. Oh, you don't know your favorite. That's fair. I mean, there's a lot of good stuff. Um, on Webtoon, there was this comic that I read called Yuna and Kawachan. And it was honestly the best, um, like, it was the best apocalypse-themed comic I ever read. I mean, it had, like, it had some elements of it that were really cute, and then other elements that were, like, apocalypse stuff. I don't know how to describe it. Like, just the style, um, was cute. But yeah, I do recommend that comic. Um, like, you can read it on Webtoon. And it's like... Um, like, you can get daily um, passes to read, like, each episode. Uh, and it's called um, Yuna and Kawachan. And it's 
really, really good. I'm just gonna, like, yeah, throw some fizz things out there. Probably should have focused more on uh, inking the orange team side, but oh gosh, I don't, I really don't know. Oh man, it was the orange team. I'm sad. Okay, so we're on the attack this time. I love doing that. It's like, they're, like, they're like, I'm going to put a Booyah Bomb here. And I'm like, nope, you're not. Ah! <laughs> it was yummy. No, it's okay. You don't have to answer back right away. I mean... Like, I do that too. I like to watch streams while I'm playing something or drawing or doing something else. Oh, shoot. Like, I was, I was probably hoping I could kill that person, but oh well. Okay, I need to just focus on um, getting them out of the middle so that one of us can grab the signal. sure there was somebody here but I honestly haven't played enough of Forge um, Pro like when I played Splatoon 2 I played K Pro a lot and like this is pretty similar I would say. Uh, I don't have my... I don't have my thing charged. My special. Okay, like, I'm trying here. Come on, guys. Oh no, like I could have hit all of them if I, if, 
If I had a church just a little sooner. Okay, I think it's time to change weapons. I might fall I might play some reflux. I've been having a lot of fun with the reflux deco. Like just rushing in with reef slider is fun. Okay, let's let's change weapons um, for now. Let's see, I want some swim speed up. And like these shoes look cool, but honestly it would be better if I had some different shoes on probably. But I, I think I'll just keep them on just because they look cool with this outfit. I really like my outfit right now. So honestly, like before I started getting serious about playing Tri-Stringer, I played Reflux a lot. And I never got the for, the vanilla reflux to five stars, but um, I did play it a lot. And then finally I switched over to regular tri-stringer because I like the range better. But this weapon's still a lot of fun and I like this new kit. And plus you can ink with it a lot. Okay, so they have a regular tri-stringer on their team. Oh yeah, and also, like, I, I really love the, the white tri-stringer. It looks so cool. Um, uh, like, um, side order. I mean, Side Order in general is just an awesome DLC, but... Oh, uh, this person's annoying. This- I can already tell this person's going to be annoying. And their name is Rick, to top it off. Rick Grimes. That's who I'm going to call them. Okay, I'm going to ha- I guess I'm just going to have to avoid them because... I don't see how I'm gonna... Okay. Well, I guess that works. Oh. Um, I have no weapons at five stars because the way I play so Splatoon so far is playing for a month and then not touching the game for eight months. Yeah. I'm like that with some games. Oh no, this person is here. Oh, Splatoon's your favorite franchise? I mean, I played this game for like over um, a thousand hours. Okay, I'm just going to go over here. I'm not even going to worry about This is honestly pretty stupid. Ah. Uh. Okay, the other team got the signal, so I mean, we still have a chance of not losing. They have a splash wall too? I don't even know who- I don't even know which weapon had a splash wall. Maybe the custom exploser? 
Ah, oh, this is so annoying. I'm just trying to ink here. <laughs> like one, one of Reflux's strengths is inking power. Oh man, we definitely lost. Man. But yeah, like, um, lately I've, I've taken a bit of a break from Splatoon, um, cause I've been playing a lot of, um, Zelda Tears of the Kingdom, and I also started playing A Link to the Past again, um, cause sometimes I just like to play all the old Zelda games, um, but, like, anytime there's a big event, like, Splatfest going on, or big run or something I like to play and also like I get I think I've also noticed I get more into it like when there's a new season and new weapons to play with too because I always like new weapons and talking about new weapons And I've been, I don't know exactly how many um, weapons are coming out for this new sizzle season. Um, I've, I've been trying to grind up Sheldon's licenses so I have enough so I can get all the weapons with the new kits plus the new weapons that are coming out. Like, I, I'm pretty sure they're releasing both kits for the new, um, sword and bow. Which is one hint that this might be the last season. Um, oh, gotcha games. I don't think I've really played any gotcha games, to be honest. Ah, okay. I did that too close. I shouldn't have done that. Oh, like I have, like so far I have all the weapons and I, and I played all of the weapons so I would have them all to... One star. Shoot. I was really hoping I would get that guy. Um... So yeah, I played this game a lot. I'm just trying to get these guys out of here because they're being really annoying. Okay, I know there's somebody back there. Uh, what? How did that happen? Like, I was, I literally dropped down there. I literally. Yeah, I mostly, honestly, I mostly play Switch games. I have a few games on my PC, like um, Resident Evil 4. Um, oh, I didn't kill anybody, seriously. Come on. Okay, I'm going to go this way. Like, they are just chasing me down over here. There, I got someone at least.
They have a DC on their team. Like, if we could have just inked up real quick, we could have got it. But I don't think they had the DC in time is the problem. So that's unfortunate. Let's see, I'm going to pick, hmm, I feel like it's been a while since I played, like, regular tri-stringers, because I've been focused on getting V-Jet, um, leveled up. And I've been playing these other weapons, but I might, I might play again. Oh, shoot. No. I wanted to change gear because I like having run speed up with this. Um, I really don't play Incline Tri-Stringer enough, though. It's like the only weapon that I play personally that has super chumps. And I think it does pretty good. Like, if you're trying to claim an area, Super Chunks is the way to go. I'm trying to see... Okay, there. I just wanted that sprinkler to hit that target. Don't know how this is going to go. Um, oh my gosh, there's a Hydra on my team and I'm just a tri-stringer. This is gonna be challenging, I guess, but, oh. I'm playing Tri-Stringer, I'm like, like this feels so much na more natural compared to my other weapons. Well, I mean, besides V-Jet. V-Jet feels natural to me too, because I played it longer than um, Stringer. Okay. Like, come on. I'm hoping this will give us an opening. Problem is this guy. Okay, come on, man. Come on. Tried. I really tried. Yeah. 
Yeah, I'm getting back into the groove of things. to aim for than they do. I don't know if we did or not, but let's see. Okay, we won! So technically it was Team Save the Day that won, but we win by extension. Like, that was pretty good. Like, I'm really liking this weapon. I was a little concerned, like, that if I played Stringer, since it's a long-range weapon, I was afraid it would be hard because I was afraid I would keep getting flanked, but it hasn't been too bad. Maybe a few times I pushed forward where I shouldn't have, but, you know, nothing major. some like since I've been playing tricolor battles or, uh, for a while I might change it up and play some open or pro battles because I played like this for a whole hour so Okay, I hear a blaster. I'm not sure where the bla blaster's at. I feel like they're close, though. Like, I wanted to push right there, but... Um, couldn't do it. We got it! Oh my gosh! That was like the first successful time this splat fest that I secured a ultra signal. I feel like the other team is going to get it. Um, team save, or not save the day, but team same old. Because they, so far, they are winning. But at least save the day won't win. 
Gosh, I have a lot of turfing. I did not even realize I had that many points. That's crazy. Okay, so we win. I mean, we didn't get first place, but we won. Um, oh yeah, Team Bucket. Oh, what, what I was talking about, I was just talking about this particular match in Tricolor. Like, Team um, Same Ole won the match, but we got second place in it. But, um, yes, Team Bucket is winning, like, um, you know, in terms of the halftime, um, tally, you know, that they showed. So, I'm really, really hoping that we win. Okay, but I need, I'm going to, um, use one of my conch shells. Okay, of course, it's just a food ticket, um... Like, I'm going to double my battle XP, because I'm trying to level up. Um, -ha 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 -ha. yeah, um, I like this, I mean, honestly, I have a lot of sea snails. Um, I have a lot of sneak sea snails, um, saved up, but I just want to see Team Fry win. That's what I want to see the most. Um... I mean, because Team Fry hasn't won for a really, really long time, and it's just sad. Let's see, I might, let's, I want to look and see, oh, I didn't want to look at that. I wanted to see what stages there were. So open, Scorch Gorge, okay. So we got some pretty good stages here. I might switch to V-Jet just because I want to grind a little more on this weapon. And I think I'm going to change my gear. Like I usually want some ink saver sub for this because I use, I throw a lot of markers. Um... I don't know. I kind of want to. I kind of want to try sync sub power up because you can actually throw the markers further if you use sub power up. And I was trying to level up these shoes, so I might switch to these shoes for now. Yeah, that that sounds like a plan. But yeah, I want to see Team Fry win because she hasn't won in so long. And it's really sad. Um, let's see. Whoa. I wanted to see what catalog level. Okay, I'm only 52, so I won't get anything until um, level 60. Because this is like the second catalog that I got. So, Brinewater Springs and Marlin Airport. Brinewater Springs is honestly one of my most favorite maps um, in this game. There's just, some, I don't know, there's just something that I love about it. Like, I guess just the atmosphere. Splatfest is honestly the most exciting time. Okay. 
Oh, they have a Hydra and a Stringer. Like, even though I'm good at playing Stringer, like, I feel like I'm pretty good at Stringer. Um, like, I'm really bad at fighting Stringer. So that's something I'm trying to work on. Like, you have to move our- oh shoot, I should have just pulled out my ink jet right- or er, ink jet. My ink back um, right then, but I didn't do it. I wasn't really paying attention. Yeah, you have to be- you have to be very mobile and not stay in one place for too long because then you, you're an easy target for a stringer. Awesome. Okay, so far this isn't going too bad. Gosh, that, that Hydra, like, they were just standing there and made themselves an easy target for me. Ah. Gotcha. There is a hydra there. Like, I'm hoping maybe I can get him at an angle. Okay. Teamwork. I gotta keep an eye on things because some some of these guys just like to sneak into our base. Yeah, I see you over there. Okay. Oh no, wait a minute. Okay, I honestly don't know if we won that or not. <sighs> okay, good. I was afraid they got the upper hand at the last second. That would have been awful. Yay, we worked together. I'm happy.
Ah. Oh, I, w I was- I thought for sure that I was splatted by the Hydra. Like, I'm- that caught me off guard. Okay, I got someone. Like, getting the Hydra out of here is, like, my main priority. Oh, man. Okay. Okay, who is this? I don't know where they went. Come on, give me that booyah bomb. Okay, this person's a little too so Like, that person actually knows how to use booyah bomb. <laughs> so it didn't work. <laughs> Not that time. Ah, I'm trying to get up here. Okay, I got, oh, I got somebody that the brush got me, which sucks. And I'll probably die by jumping in, but I just want to, I wanted to throw some fizz bangs. Yeek. We tried. Why I feel so tired. I got some more sleep last night. But I guess it didn't help. Oh my gosh, that person on the other team, their name. Like sometimes it's just, I see names and I'm like, why? Just why? I mean, I guess it could have been worse. It could have been dirty butt instead of clean butt. a lot of hydras like these past few games ah no there was a surprise dynamo attack like that was crazy so I don't I haven't mentioned it in a while but I used to actually play competitive um, Splatoon and I was on a team, I, com I competed in tournaments. Um, it's been a while since I've done that. But, um, 
anyway, like today there is, um, day two of the low ink tournament is going on. And, um, the name of the channel that that will be on, I think it's called IPL, like, I, I'm pretty sure it's still called that, Inkling Performance Labs. Um, so, oh no, I was, like, I what? oh, are you talking about the person, um, are you talking about the person, um, I was talking about earlier, the one with the weird name? So their name is Queen Butt, and I was just saying, that is just such a weird name, and, but at least it's not Dirty Butt, that would have been worse. Anyway, um, let's see. I actually would like to interact more with the comp side of the community. Well, um, like, honestly, a really good way to do that would be, um, well, if you don't have a team yet, there is a tournament called It's Dangerous to, to Go Alone. And I don't, I forgot, like, what page you have to go to to find out more about that tournament. But that tournament... Like, this is separate from the other tournament that I was just talking about, the um, low ink one. But anyway, like, if you don't have a team yet, like, there is, um, it's dangerous to go alone. And they have a tournament where you can just join as a free agent and, you know, play with, you know, random people. And then there's low ink. Low ink is very good for low, um, for com like lower level competitive, because there is a difference. There's lower level, mid level, and high level, which are like the famous teams. You know, like Dude and um, I don't know, some other famous Splatoon players. Like they, they do high level, okay? But, um,. But if you're just starting out, you you want to go um, to a low level tournament. So like low ink is a good one. It's um, day two of the tournaments going on today. So if you go to Inkling Performance Labs, like their channel, like they start streaming at one o'clock, I think. And um, you can do pickups. Um, you don't have to have like a dedicated. Um, team like to join low ink you can just go to discord oh yeah char char is a famous splatoon player in high level um but like i said um you know low level like what um what you can do is like you can ask around in discord and like different Splatoon Discord servers and say, hey, I want to do a pickup, you know, and just meet people by doing that. Um, I retired from comp because, like, for me, it got too stressful. Because, um, first of all, like, having to process, like, everything that's going on in the game, in addition to co doing call-outs... That got a bit too much for me. Like, I just couldn't process everything that was going on. Like, I'm more of a slower paced player. So, like, I decided to just play casual again. But, um, I, I still watch a little bit of, like, the competitive scene. Because it's interesting to see what's going on now. Um, I never played, like, when I played competitive... This was before Splatoon 3 came out, so I played, um, like, this was, like, Splatoon 2 in-game for me when I played competitive, but, um, yeah, like I said, like, joining Discord, um, sir, <gasps> Ten Tops Battle, oh my gosh, okay, I gotta get serious now, I gotta get serious. Like, I haven't won a 10 times battle yet for this fast, so I gotta get serious. Thank you. Okay, I gotta ink, ink, ink. 
I'm glad I'm playing a weapon I'm familiar with. Okay. Like, I'm in from the base. I don't want to push into their um, territory. I thought this person was, ah, dead. But apparently they're still alive. Uh, I wish that bubbler wasn't there. I could just, okay. My teammates got him. Now, I gotta make sure that these guys don't get in here. Ah, uh, this bro is going to be a pain in the butt. I can already tell. <sighs> I mean, honestly, bro is... Okay. There we go. Now it's just a matter of keeping them out. Like, just completely closing them out. And that's going to be hard because there's already somebody back here. Like, what the heck? Okay. They don't even have beacons set up. Like, I, I don't know how they got in there so fast. Like, how they're doing that. Ah, uh, this is a pain. Okay. I don't even know how well we're doing here. Like, since they're entering our base, though, I have a feeling it's not... It's not as well as I'd like it to be. Okay. Gotcha. Oh yeah. Okay, this is what I'm talking about. Like, this is awesome. Thank you. GG's. Yay. At least I won one ten times battle. Yes, and I got a crap ton of clout for it. Oh, yeah. So the reason I like to play comp is because when I really like a video game, I grind it like crazy. Yeah, that's me too. Like, the games that I like, if you could just see how many hours I have in um, Splatoon 2 and Splatoon 3 and... Um, I've also got a lot of hours in Animal Crossing. I play Animal Crossing, um, a lot. Well, I haven't played it in a while, but I have a lot of hours in it. Um, but, but yeah, like I said, there are communities you can join. Like, if you have a Discord, um, like if you have a Discord, you can join um, Discord servers for competitive Splatoon. Like, there's different organizations. Um, Inkling Performance Labs is one of those organizations, but there's other ones, um, too. I just can't really name them off the bat. Um, but there's, like, a lot of good tournaments that go on. Um, oh yeah, another one was, um, It's Dangerous to Go Alone. Like, that was the one I was talking about where you can just, um, 
Like, it's the free agent. It's basically the free agent um, tournament. Oh, crap. Oh, yeah, Academy. Yeah, I, I think I'm on that. I think I joined that Discord server, too. Um, like, they were doing something. Was it? Was that the one where they were doing the speed ladder? Like, I, we did, like, when I was on a team, like, I was on a few different Splatoon teams, but one of the teams I was on, I think we did the, the speed ladder once. I mean, that's a good way to play, like, different, play against different teams. Oh, so you, you joined five servers already? That's cool. But yeah, like a lot of those servers, um, like I think some of them have channels where you can like look for teams, um, do pickups, scrims, etc. Like the best way to get practice is to scrim. Like not playing solo queue because solo queue is completely different from playing um, like with an actual team and playing against an actual team. Oh, they have a DC. That's unfortunate. Um, but, yeah. And also, like, even if um, you don't want to, like, there's also an option, like, to sub in tournaments, too. Like, for low ink, um, you can sign up as a sub and then win a when a team hat like when they're missing a player for whatever reason like you can just um sub for them until their player gets back and i mean honestly reaching s plus i mean wow that's a great accomplishment that's not necessary because i know some really good players that are just in s rank and like rank doesn't it does, it honestly doesn't matter. What matters is getting experience with a real team and, you know, playing against other teams that might be a little bit better than you. But, like, you can learn from that, I feel like. I mean, from my experience, like, um, playing in solo cube does little... I mean, if anything, you just learn bad habits in solo queue that you need to, um, that you need to relearn, in, you know, when you're playing competitive. Um, I mean, that's understandable. It's good to get individual practice in and try to get better with your weapons. Figure out which weapons you like the best because... Um, when I first started playing Splatoon 2, I wasn't, I didn't really have a main weapon. I don't think I played Dually Squelchers a lot, but then I switched over to Jet Squelcher just because it's got more range. And I realized I like longer range weapons and I started grinding t Charger too and got good with it. Did you know that they're sort of dead in comp because of core? I mean, honestly, um, like, I don't really know much about the competitive scene now. Like, what's made uh, and all of that. Um, but I do know core can be helpful. Um, I don't even... Wait, does... I don't think, um... Yeah, Tetris don't have core, do they? Oh, so you're saying, like, there's other weapons that have core and it's better because of that? Yeah, like, core, like, I can understand why core would be a, co a popular option in comp. It's kind of like how Ink Armor was in Splatoon 2. Like, you had to have, um, Ink Armor, like, in order to do anything. 
but yeah, cooler does help things. Oh, that's a shame. Yeah, Dark Tetris has um oh, what's it called? They have Reef Slider and then Light Tetris I think have Zip Caster. Oh yeah, Dark has Reef and Zip- Yeah, Reef isn't like the most popular special, apparently, but it is a fun special, I have to admit. Okay, I wish somebody- Gosh. I was hoping somebody would help me with that person, but oh well, a little too late. Okay, they got him. <laughs> yeah, Zipcaster um, can be a good special. Um, I'm not good with Zipcaster, honestly, but like I know it's good on Splatana Stamper. Like honestly, I haven't really seen. Like I've been watching a little bit of competitive, and I haven't. I haven't really seen many. I haven't really seen anybody using sword or bow, unfortunately. Like, I'd like to see more bow in comp, but I don't know if, um, like, how well that does. Yeah, zip's pretty fun sometimes. Um, like, that's one reason why I like the chainsaw is because I can just zip around. And like, there's also that new Squiffer that has Zip, but I haven't really played it much. Like, I haven't really got the hang of using it with Zip. I haven't played Squiffer much, honestly. Oh. I think my favorite dualies now are the Dowser dualies, um, just because they have more range, and also when you do the, like, the dodge roll, um, they have, like, a super fast charge. I really like that. I haven't played them too much though, because like I said, I've got other weapons. Let's see, another reason why I'd like to reach S plus is because well, I don't like to stomp the enemy team. Oh, so you want a challenge? I mean, like if you join pickups, you know, um, you can practice like with some higher level people. I mean, you don't have to necessarily do it in solo queue. You know, like, they're, like, I'm telling you, like, there's some really tough players, um, in competitive that you can fight against, and it'll be frustrating for sure, but you will learn from them. I mean, like, if you, if you really want to play competitive, like, you know, finding people to play with and join a... Well, I mean, you don't have to join a team, but just doing pickups, um, it's good practice. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Um, like, honestly, I'm currently only in S rank at the moment. Um, I've been trying to get to S+, but 
I've been having um, a lot of trouble. And I'm like, well, I don't, I really don't want to spend too much time playing ranks because it's just not fun for me. It's crap. Crap, crap, crap. See, hello, um, Sun Power. It's good to see you. I'm just playing some Splatfest. Oh no, I shouldn't have come down here. I shouldn't have come. No, 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 no. Jump, jump, jump. <laughs> okay, good. I escaped. I got out of that unscathed. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Yeah, um, let's see. When I see X rank play players enter, my friends are not, though. Um, honestly, like, I, I play the most um, Splatoon during Splatfest. Like any other time, like I play, I mostly just play other games. At least that's how it's been lately. But when this new season comes out, I'm going to be playing a lot though, because like I have to try out that new um, bow for sure. I really enjoyed Springfest a lot. I played, like, I actually, I actually streamed for like three days. Oh, that was such a close match. Um, I streamed for three days, like during um, the Springfest. Like, I did like the sneak, I did like the um, pre-splat fest, and then I did day one and day two, and that was fun. Like, the, the special Splatfest, like, Spring Fest are just awesome. Um, yeah. I mean, I understand how you feel about the gear. Like, the gear could have been more creative. Like, in Splatoon 2, I think. Splatoon 2 had better Spring Fest gear, and also just better, um, Splatoween and Frosty Fest gear too, in my opinion. But playing though was still a lot of fun. And the fact that they had sprinkles in the ink for Spring Fest, I really like the sprinkles. Like that made me happy. Yeah, they should have given us bunny ears. Like I feel like people would have, um, like those a lot better because first of all like we have the teddy band so why not have the bunny band you know um well to me like everybody's got their opinion i like splatoon 3 because i have more weapon options i really like playing bow um the reason why i'm playing jet squelter right now is because like i'm trying to grind I'm trying to grind it to five stars, so I've been playing it a little bit more than my other weapons, but um, I, I like Tri-Stringer a lot, and like Splatoon 1 and Splatoon 2 didn't have um, Tri-Stringer, and the swords are actually a lot of fun too. So... There are some things I still miss about Splatoon 1 and Splatoon 2. Ah, crap. Yeah, um, like, some 
something I was talking about earlier is I'm not sure. Oh crap, someone BC'd on our team. Um, like, I'm not sure if they're going to do third kits um, for the weapons or not. I mean, it would be nice if they would, but like, since they came up out with all these different weapon classes, um, like, I don't know if. I just don't know if, um, crap, this person's in a corner, um, I just don't know if they're going to do that or not. Yeah, the Kinza weapons were pretty good. I like the Sheldon's Picks weapons, honestly. Um, my favorite, like, one weapon I really liked in, um, Splatoon 1 was the Tempered dynamo roller. I think it had killer whale. I'm pretty sure. Like, um, like that was really nice. I like that a lot. Um, also, I really liked, there was another weapon I liked. Well, I, for one thing, I liked Heavy Remix, but I feel like they're not going to give us Heavy Remix because Hydra has Booyah Bomb now in this game, and um, since Hydra hi has Booyah Bomb, like, I don't know if they would give Heavy a Booyah Bomb or not. But I do miss Heavy Remix. I, I like the design for Heavy Remix in general, too. Um, <laughs> I don't think we won that. Like, yeah, we didn't win that for sure. Um, sniping in 3 feels more responsive than 2. Um, I don't know. Like... It's been a while since I played Splatoon 2, so I don't even remember what sniping feels like. But um, I do, I do like all of the chargers in um, Splatoon 3. I haven't played pencil um, too much though, but it, but it is a nice um, addition. They even got rid of the hair physics. Oh, I didn't notice like that's one of those things so you mean like when you jump up and down like the hair doesn't like go up is what you're saying I mean it kind of squiggles a little bit but I mean your hair bounces and fl oh okay I think I know what you're talking about now I don't even pay attention to my character, honestly, when I play. But I believe you. Okay, they have Golden Arrow Spray. So that means that I'm going to have to have my ink back ready at all times. I honestly didn't even notice that until now, but one thing I noticed is that when you squid bag, like you can't really, I don't know, your character just looks like a blob, if that makes any sense. Like in Splatoon 2, it did not look like a blob. But I mean, every game is, uh, crap. Yeah, yeah. Just like, that's what I was saying. The squid bag is different. Um, let's see, if you drop 20 kills, I'll give you a private island. I really doubt that's going to happen. Like, I hardly ever get um, 20 kills. It's only when I'm playing up against, like, a real um, newbie team. And I don't think this team is a newbie team.
Let's see, more hairstyles. I mean, like, they gave us a, more hairstyles than they um, had in the first two games. But it would be nice, like... Oh yeah! Oh crap, I... I just fell down at like the wrong spot. <laughs> well hello, Click. Um, yeah, Click Lice. Um, I haven't seen you for a while. Um, I hope you're doing okay. Splatfest is fun, but I'm losing a lot as usual. But I'm just having fun with it. bomb was coming from. Yeah, Inklings and Octolings are adorable. <sighs> like, I agree with that for sure. I'm going to take a little break. Um, first, I want to see. Oh, yeah, I do have a conch shell. Golden egg like stand up comic. That's interesting. I want to take a quick break and then I'll be right back.
Okay, I'm back now. Um, I don't, like, I feel like I want to switch weapons, but I don't know which weapon I'd like to play. Not sure what I'm in the mood for, honestly. Let's see, maybe I'll do Heavy Splatling Deco. Like, this is one that I don't... I haven't played very much of it. I haven't even got it to three stars yet. Oh, um... Bamboo. No! Um, I don't think I really want to play Bamboo in this one. Um... Like, honestly, like, Bamboo in, Splat in Splatoon 3 just isn't my favorite. It was really good in Splatoon 2, especially with main power-up, but in Splatoon um, 3, it just kind of... Wait, where is Bamboo anyway? Oh, right here. Yeah, I don't want... I don't think I want to play Bamboo. Sorry. No. <laughs> I don't think I want to suffer today. Let's see, I think I'll do this. And... Maybe wear these shoes with it. We'll try Splatling. Okay. I'm going to do a little more pro um, battles. Because there's we've got Brian Water Springs. Which is like one of my favorite maps. Yeah, it's a shame they don't have heavy remix. Like, I don't know, like like I said, I don't know if they're going to do Sheldon's picks in this game or not. I really hope they do because Sheldon's picks, like in general, I just like how the weapons look. In general. Like, I, I like colorful weapons, and we need more colorful weapons, honestly. I feel like if they do Sheldon's picks, like, they might give... I don't know, Bo might get a third kit, and Sword might get a third kit, just because, like, those are the Splatoon 3 weapons. at its finest. Okay, this actually feels pretty good. I need to use my point sensors, um, but I don't really have a good opportunity. Ah, too late. Okay, I have my special charged up. Just need to find a good opportunity here. Okay, that was kind of stupid. <laughs>
think I'm keep running out of ink. I real I probably should. I don't know. Oh my gosh, you gotta be kidding. Okay, I tried. Yeah. Let's see, I'm going to change shoes. I don't really need special power up, I don't think. I really need some ink saver. Um, or maybe special charge up would be nice. Let's see. What do I've got here? I honestly have to admit, I really like the chained um, Crocs. There's just something about them that I like. I mean, they're kind of tacky, but in a good way, I think. I might wear them. Like, I wanted... I don't know... what I want. Um, might just go with these for now. I will admit, I really like Kraken. Uh, like, I'm glad we have Kraken on um, the heavy splatling. Like, that is pretty, that is a lot of fun. Oh my gosh, I didn't even notice that blaster. Okay, so... Oh. Getting beat by my own weapon here.
gotcha. Oh yeah. Yes! Oh, no. <laughs> oh, they have a golden arrow spray on their team, too. Like, that explains why they're getting so many booyah bombs all the time. Ah, uh, that didn't do so well. I might actually try this weapon in tricolor um, battles just to see how it does. All right, I think I'll do I'll do a little bit more tricolor battle. I feel like Kraken would be pretty good for tricolor. And also keeping track of enemies. golden arrow spray on my team. Thanks for stopping by. It's it's always nice to have a little bit of company um, on these streams. 
Yes, we got it! We got it! Oh, yes! Okay. Now, the, the important thing is, like, inking turf. I need to use more of my point sensors. I don't use them enough. like a quick, you know, just get rid of this person and yeah, there we go. Okay, I've got like a ton of fireworks now. I'm just going to throw them. Hopefully, we'll get our Booyah Bomb. I don't know how well we did. Okay, of course the other team had just a little bit more turf ink. So I think I'm going to stream like until rotation um, switches because I am getting tired again. Like I don't know why I'm so tired this morning, but I am. Well, like, I've been drinking Diet Coke, and, like, it oftentimes peps me up, but right now it's just not doing it, so, I don't know, maybe I just need to get up and walk around some more, but, I don't know. Oh, this is a mirror. A, a mirror um, match. I haven't seen too many of these in this Splatfest, but they still exist. Yeah. Like, I think I'm just wore out because um, like, I had a crazy week and it takes me forever to recover You know, whenever, like, I have a super um, busy week like that. bit more, but I don't know yet. I just feel like I need to go outside. Yeah, I know. I'm trying not to push myself too hard, but, um, like, you know, I like to stream a little bit. I'm like, I, I haven't got to stream any this weekend except for today. I don't 
don't have it. Okay. It's cra it's crab versus kraken. Who's going to win? Okay, it looks like Kraken won with a little help from her teammate. Gotcha. <laughs> that was a good ending to that match. Yay, we win! But that was just a mirror match, so it didn't even matter. I'm almost at um, bucket list reward plus two. Okay, I think. Um, let's see, did I? Okay, I can get another thing from the gotcha machine. And of course it's just a food ticket, so nothing. Nothing special. Let's see, let's see what maps there are. And if it's a really good map, I might play a little bit more just because like I can't resist um, playing when there's a really good map. Um, eh, I don't know, nothing, spe nothing that really sticks out to me. I think I'll, I'm gonna um, quit well, I'm not going to quit quit, but I think I might p play a little bit of table turf because there's still some sleeves that I want to get. Of course, I could always play Salmon Run. That's an option. Yeah, um... <laughs> Yeah, um, I always like to, like, whenever I feel like I need a break from the other game modes, I just go over here to Table Turf. And I've, I've been um, playing against Oct because um, I really like their card sleeves and I want them. And it's not too hard. So all of my cards are named after Jutsus. Um, I think I'm going to... I've been using Susano for this one. So I'll just stick with this. I don't think... Yeah, I never added um, any cards for Sand Coffin yet. Like, I don't know. My card sets, I don't know. They're okay, but sometimes I have to change them around a bit but yeah i'm glad you i'm glad that you like uh, my card sets don't you play a lot of um table turf flick like i think i remember you posting like something about it before yeah you're probably better at table turf than i am so if i do anything stupid i'm sorry but like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the new sleeves, like, I really like these new, um, maps that they came up with. Um. Wow, we use the same, the exact same card. That's funny. Yeah, like I'm sure a lot of people are better at this than I am, but I'm just, I'm just playing and hoping that everything will work out right. 
Um, hmm. I can put that there and then put my three card over there. Okay. I'll just put that there just because it fits best. Yeah, like, see how cool Ox cards look? Look at that. Like, it just looks so cool with the neon colors and, like, the giant... Well, it looks like an eyeball, but I think it's a disc. I just now noticed that's a disc. Before, I thought, like, I didn't notice the the disc. I just noticed um, Ox head and like a giant eyeball. But that's actually the middle of the disc. <laughs> no, it is. It, but it looks like... I know I know they are a DJ. Like, I just now noticed that. But it looks like an eyeball. It looks like a giant eyeball in the middle of ox face like you like you can't tell me that it's not because it, it looks like a giant eyeball <laughs> oh i think splatoon would go that far i mean honestly because like they have some pretty creepy stuff sometimes <laughs> i mean like you know how sometimes they get creative, like, um, like on some disc, and like the disc is part of the art? Like, I feel like that's what they did here. They just made like a giant eyeball be the middle of the. Th they made the middle of the disc look like a giant eyeball. Like, I really feel like that's what it is. And I just, I can't see it any different. Uh. Okay, like I'm, I'm getting a lot of good power up here, but... I don't see the cards that I want to use for specials yet. I'm one of those people who waste the bits on getting three star cards. I have a few three star cards. I haven't like, um, I haven't gotten very many, but I have a few. Let's see, I'll, I'll probably just use this card just because to fill in the space. And I'm just hoping they give me... Okay, I, I see a card um, that I want. Yeah, just the ones I like. Yeah, that's me too. Um, I'll have to show you my cards in a minute. But first, let's do a special. Okay, and I've got ink back, but I need to, hmm. I might just pass here, just for the sake of using, probably should have saved that card, but oh well. Um, yeah, just for the sake of using ink back. Probably put that there. Okay.
Yay. Okay, so that was like my fifth win against level three Oct. Now, in terms of table turf cards, like I, I, I only need two cards. Um, kind of want to see which which cards do I not have? I don't have Jolfonzo or Marina. I want Marina. Yeah, like I gotta have Marina. Okay. So now I only need Joe Fonzo. Um, I'm looking to see which cards that I had powered up, but. can't find them. They're probably closer to the bottom. Oh, Inkvac. I got it. I got three stars on Inkvac because it's one of my favorite specials. And Harmony. I love Harmony. I know. It looks so pretty. Let's see. Big Man has two stars. Um, Cowie has two stars. Yeah, it is. Yeah, they, they're really cute cards. Um, the artwork, like it, it's nice seeing the little chibi octos and inklings. Okay, Annie has two stars. And also, there's going to be like a lot more cards that come out for next season because of all the new kits that we're getting. Yeah. Yeah, the new weapons and the new kits. Because we got, we get a new um, bow and a new sword, which I'm really excited about. Okay, I think that's really about all I have. Like, I, I still need to get that Jolfonzo card, and then I'll have a complete set for now. And also, before I go, like, there's one more thing that I have to do. Like, this is something I'm going to make a tradition. Like, at the end, like, after every, um, at the end of my Splatfest streams, I have to come here and do a dance party. Um, yeah, that would be fun if we were able to duel. I feel like you would probably win, um, since you have more expertise with the table turf. But, of course, I'm going to try my best to defeat you. Believe it. <laughs> um, but yeah, we definitely need to duel um, sometimes. 
That is true. Like I need to, I need, I still have a few more decks that I need to like put cards in and perfect those. They're just so cute. Like this song is honestly like my favorite part about the um having in Goblet Square. Like, look, they have flames and everything. So, if they end up having a, um, off the hook versus Squid Sisters versus Deep Cut battle, who would you pick? Oh, okay. Um, have a, have a fun time at your buddies. Um, Plick, and it was nice that you stopped by. Um, but yeah, for anybody else that's watching, if you're still watching, um, like, who would you pick if it was a battle of the bands, like, for the last Splatfest? Like, I feel like I would have to pick, um, Off the Hook, for sure. Like, just because of the fact that their music is just... I find it so catchy. Like, this song and, um... Like, every song they sing that has ebb and flow in it. Like, it, like pretty much any ebb and flow rendition or edit that they have is, like, really good. I like it a lot. Um, like, I do like Calamari Incantation. That was my favorite song in Splatoon 1. And, um, I don't know what other songs that they had, but I like that. And then Deep, Deep Cut has some good songs, um... But I don't, I don't know. To me, Off the Hook just, it's the band that sticks out to me. I mean, like, I literally come here every time to do a dance party. So, yeah. Alright, well, I'll see you guys later. And, um, thank you all for stopping by. Um, I'm just really tired, so I'm just going to try to, I don't know, go outside, maybe walk around a bit. And I hope everybody has a fun day and a good end to your Splatfest. Um, you know, just have, have fun and have a good Sunday. Oh. Hold on, I got it. I got to dance with little buddy. Okay, now I'm going to go. See you later.